Also finish the organic. So remind me you can take a thumbnail. It's with a little shirt. Just to make it easier on you. I don't think we've took a... Oh, we're live right now? Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the um, screen went... It's my fault. Oh. It was my fault. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, gosh. I think I left the mic up, too, so... That's okay. Hey. No, I had to put it up. I had to put it up. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Mine? Yeah, I had to move it up. Welcome, this is Rachel. Hi, guys. <laughs> I filmed, as you heard, <laughs> maybe not, I filmed an organic video. Now I'm trying to think, clearly I didn't reset the, uh, the camera for Rebecca. I did other things. No, this was from yesterday. This was my fault. I filmed 10 minutes before you got here. This was your fault. It was my fault. <laughs> it was my fault. Uh, anyways, happy Thursday, guys. We're going to be talking about sublimation Do's, don'ts, tips, tricks, mistakes to avoid, things like that. Becca is here, uh, who is sublimated more than me. Um, I do have some general knowledge I have sublimated before. So between the two of us, we're going to have a really great uh, live today. So if you want to jot down some notes, jot down some notes. Sometimes I like to watch, if I'm like learning something and I know I can like watch it over again, the first time I'll watch it just to let it like soak in my brain. Then I'll watch it again to be able to take notes and really understand what I have been told and try and get that stuck in my head. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I wanted to scroll up because we have a friend here, Sweet and Sassy 725. She says, I'm not a flock member yet, but hello everyone. Sweet and Sassy, we're so glad that you're here. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Uh, if if you're like on the fence about membership, let us know if you have any questions. Let us know what we can do to push you off of that fence. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to use the code FUN, F-U-N, you can get $10 off your first month with us at the flock, which that makes your first month only $9.99, which is a great deal. So definitely take advantage of that, Miss Sweet and Sassy, if you haven't already. Ask any questions you might have. Okay, let me see. How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty pretty darn good um a little bit better every day which is great thank you for asking okay uh all of this stuff is linked in the description i think i think i linked everything in the description i think the only thing i didn't link was this tape dispenser <clears throat> which is on our amazon store which the link for our amazon yeah. storefront is also in the description so either way you can kind of go to that also um, I'm going to let you guys know, we have, Becca made a video about nine sublimation blanks that you might want, that you can use. So that is a whole other video. We're going to talk about some of them, but she has a video of nine of them. I have linked it into the description if you want to click it and go watch it so you can see some sublimation blanks. Um, because today is going to be kind of about some do's and don'ts, some little, um, techniques some little habits you need to start doing and then i have pre beck is gonna laugh her butt off at me i have pre-printed and cut crappily um crappily crappily <laughs> a sublimation piece of paper that we're gonna put on this to just kind of test the uh the old auto press yeah. for you because we never get tired of showing you guys how to use this thing uh, plus, I think it'll could just kind of help if you've never done a sublimation project before to just kind of see one in action, see how it goes. Um, so, yeah. we I see we got our expensive heat press out today. Surely, we sure did. Yes. Uh, one of the points is, of course, about getting a good quality heat press. That does not mean you have to spend $1,000 on it, like this one here. But for $1,000, we want this puppy on the table as much as we can. We sure do. So, we're going to be using this today. Um let me see. I love my tape dispenser. It's purple, though. Yes, I, you know, Becca gives me grief. Back at, back at Makers Gonna Learn, I was tasked, I don't know why, <laughs> with purchasing the tape dispenser there. And so she's like, you know what? I'm going to find the ugliest one I can. No. And she gets the award. <laughs> Cheap. Cheap is what I was going for. Sorry. <laughs> And it came. Becca didn't know that I had ordered it. She opens and she goes, who ordered this horrible, ugly, <laughs> insulting tape dispenser? And, and I was 
she hog. just sits there for a moment. <laughs> she, she starts dying laughing. She's like, I'm literally going to have to take this outside and spray paint it. It's that ugly. And I did immediately. And she sure did. And then it was like a really pretty green color. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anywho, this one's black, which is much better than the one that I got, apparently. Didn't know I was going to bring down the house with that, but... Um, so all this is linked below. We have our humongous printer here. This is an Epson 78... 7840? 7840? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought so. There's also an... There's a bunch of different ones that you can buy. Now, of course, this is not a point, a point in the video, but it's something we have to talk about when we are talking about sublimation, and that is that you cannot convert every printer for sublimation. Mm -hmm. You have to find a printer that's capable of sublimation. Some are designed for sublimation. So you can look that up. I think printer prices are slowly creeping back down because they used to be really a good price and now they're kind of jacked up. I guess COVID, we can blame COVID like everything else. So do your research on that. Find a printer that works for you. One point, and it's the biggest point, Beck and I both agree, we've both heard a lot of people mention it, is Make sure that you purchase a large printer right out of the gate. Don't waste your time on a small printer that cannot print um, very large. This one can print 13 by 19, and we have never, ever, ever regretted that it can print this big. So we have 13 by 19 A sub paper and 8.5 by 11 A sub paper. If we were restricted with 8.5 by 11, we would be so sad. Becca. <coughs> Unrelated, but I do want to point this out before yep. we move on. Sweet and Sassy says, you all are so awesome. I've joined um, many of the lives since November of last year, and I've been on the fence with joining because I also have Cricut Access. I don't know if I need them both. Good question. Yeah. Good question. Um, <clears throat> we're not going to lie. Cricut Access, we can probably work. We can hire as many graphic designers as we possibly can. We will never match the amount of cut files that Cricut Access Yeah, the volume you. is massive. The volume, it's like 30,000 or something insane like that. Um, we're not here just to sell to you cut files. cut files, correct. That's not what yeah. we're here yeah. to do. Our goal at Oak and Lamb is to make you guys confident, well-rounded crafters in what area, whatever area of crafting you're passionate about. That doesn't even have to be in cricket. You can see today there's not a cricket on the table. We're talking about sublimation today. We want to educate and inspire you guys and uh, make you happy. That's what we're here to do. So at Oak and Lamb, we offer the support, the education, and the community where Cricut falls short. Cricut's a great company. We have a lot of their products. We purchase a ton of their products. Um, we're allowed to be open and honest about the products we like. We don't like Cricut Access is a great uh, membership if you're looking for cut files only. Mm -hmm. It yep. is because we, we'll never be able to match that number. We work day and night. We won't be able to do it. Um, where Cricut falls short is right after cut files. You join, you get your cut files, that's great, but then what? How There's do you no support. use your machine? How? What happens if you want to try this one material and it's not a Cricut brand material and you want to know? Or even know, a, a product, for instance, we are going to be doing the HTV run. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. The review of that. Yeah. yeah. Press, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we pick up where Cricut kind of drops the ball, which is education and inspiring you guys. And community. And, and the community. Yeah. Really, it's unmatched here at Oak and Lamb. Uh, some of our community can reply in the comments and, and help you out there. But that's just the transparency of it. We're always here to be honest with you. Um, we do have amazing cut files. We are growing our cut file library constantly. We have more cut files coming out all the time. Becca is constantly, her wheels are always turning, thinking of things that we can um, get out to you guys and hearing your suggestions and making sure that you guys get what you want in that membership but we're always making it better for you guys with member only content um courses in the works things like that and again the community on the, the facebook group you can't you can't even put a price on it it's incredible it's awesome um so yeah ask any and all questions that you may have about that yeah great question sorry <clears throat> <clears throat> but as i was saying please buy a big printer um we get people all the time, constantly, that say, I wish I would have bought a larger sublimation printer, but I was nervous that I might mm -hmm. not use it. I didn't want it taking up space. I promise if you're serious about sublimation, if you think you'll be serious about sublimation, which by the way, it's very addictive. Once you do it once or twice, you are hooked, it's amazing. Then you're gonna want a bigger printer. 
So this is linked below. It can print 13 by 19 and we love it. Always, always get a printer that's bigger out of the gate. You will not regret it, I swear. Um, okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Sweet and sassy. So I'm basically gonna, gonna be enrolled in O and L University family. Oh, uh, LOL, I love that. Sweet and sassy. Yeah, we, um, we wanna give you the communication, the education, and make sure that you are in a community where you can grow as a crafter and you can develop and always be honing your skills, whether you're a beginner or you've been crafting for like 15 years. We wanna meet you where you're at and make sure that everybody meshes together well. And really, we don't ever have to do a thing with that. Over in the Facebook group, it is an exceptional group of crafters and we absolutely love it there. And you will too, for sure. You absolutely will. Okay, Debbie, I wish I would Wish I had waited. I think she means to get a bigger printer. And we understand. I know it <coughs> I know it can be, excuse me, hard to wait when you want to want to start a new craft adventure. You're like, okay, well I have the money to buy an eight and a half by eleven sublimation printer or a printer that I can convert for sublimation. So I'm just gonna buy it, dive in and go. But if you can wait another month, another two months for a large printer, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I promise it's worth it. Okay, <coughs> let's see. Bobby Davis, love all of your videos. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Becca's designs are awesome. Melissa, Becca, I think she just like, I don't know. I don't know how she's so creative, but she just blows each cut file collection out of the water with the next one. It's amazing. That is so sweet. She is the best. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh my gosh, Lenny. Lenny missed their live. Did you see this comment? Lenny missed their live yesterday because they bought a new truck to pull a uh, travel trailer so they can all go camping. <laughs> I knew it would happen, Lenny. <laughs> I knew it would happen. And it did. Yes. I don't think any of us are surprised. Okay. Well, let's move on. Okay, this one is going to seem like I have them written down. These are in no particular order either. No particular order. And Becca came in today and she goes, do you have like a ton of amazing points written down? I was like, oh, oh, you know it. Sure and I looked do. at her and I'm like, do you think these are decent? And she's like, most of them are like, for beginners, things you have to know. For people that have sublimated for like a year, it might be common sense, which by the way is exceptional. If you've been sublimating for years and you know all this stuff like the back of your hand, that's great. That's what we want. That's what we want. I do this. I'm going to say... Every time I do a sublimation project, just because I don't do them as often as Becca, I forget to mirror my image mm. every time. Is Carol here? Is Miss Carol here? I always like to call her out when I can on that. Do you remember? She? Well, I don't know about now, but in the beginning when oh, she first she, like, started sublimating. Something? Oh, several times. She finished several projects in a row <laughs> and forgot to mirror. But now, like, I'll admit, I at least will catch it after it prints, yeah, usually. Yeah. Um, but I forget all the time to mirror my image. With sublimation, you have to mirror it. You have to. And I forget all the time. So try not to forget that. Okay. Okay, this one, I don't want to say it's controversial because it's really not. Some people do it. Some people don't. We're here to say you probably need to do it. And that is tape whenever possible. Yeah. And use a lot of it. You can't tape too much, in my opinion, or Becca's opinion, so if you have a project you can tape, please tape it. I promise you will have a lot more success with your projects if you can tape it down good. Okay, that prevents shadowing. It prevents you having anxiety of it moving. It's really good. So even today when we slap this sucker on here, I'm not showing back my design because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm gonna tape it probably onto the mat itself. Just tape wherever, tape whatever you want to tape. Um, so you can tape um, to the mat, you can tape it to itself, you can really whatever. Now, now we'll on, say on that same note, taping to the mat, if, <coughs> if your design is larger than your blank, then you don't want to tape to the mat. Meaning if there's going to be ink on your mat, you don't want to do that because it will transfer over. But what Rachel's going to show you, it's not going to transfer tape or ink over. So keep no. that in mind. Yeah, Becca's talking about like if you're, if this is this big, 
But then your design's this big. And if it has you tape ink on it, it yeah. you're going to put all that ink. It's going to transfer right, right onto this right. mat here. Oh, which is a great point, Becca, because we've done that several. We have a mat here with our logo on it because it, that happened before. So it's happened a couple of times. I'm coughing a lot. Excuse me. But yeah, we keep, I, I would keep doing it and being like, I thought I'd remember not to do that this time. We've, we've ruined like three easy press mats. Yep. You live and you learn. No, we have a designated sublimation easy press mat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's another point though. We're, we're just going to make that a point here is make sure that when you are taping, your design doesn't overlap onto your mat because the transfer will happen. Now you can combat that by putting butcher's paper down or something like that. Feel free. Are you trying with the design? They're asking if it's the granny panty design. No. <laughs> it's it's not a design. It's one of our um, logo backgrounds. Oh, dear God. And I couldn't, I didn't use design space. So I couldn't tell my printer to size it correctly. So it's a little bit big. It doesn't show a lot of things. Becca's going to be like, what the heck is that? Okay. That's not terrible. Um, I can see it. Now the colors are going to be, you just wait. Yeah. Because they'll I'll, be shocking. This is not a point, but it's something again for beginners that I want to make note of. Whenever you print a sublimation image, it looks completely different when you heat it. Completely different. These colors will not look anything like these colors after it's been heated down with the easy press or the auto press. It's just not going to. Why do we use tape to tape things? Well, I mentioned this. It helps prevent shadowing. Uh, it, of course, helps it from moving, which is the, the goal and everything. If something moves while it's heating, that's a big no-no. Also, I feel like sometimes the added tape can help when you add pressure. Sometimes you can see, like, not curling, but when I was doing a lot of sublimation mugs, I would notice if I wouldn't tape good around the lip of the mug it would almost look like it was wrinkled around the top whereas if I taped it really well then the heat would hug that cup and really evenly distribute that ink uh, whereas again if I didn't tape it it wouldn't do that so I guess the benefits of taping excuse me depends on what project you're making but if you can apply tape it's always best to do that always best to do that good question okay <coughs> excuse me I heard Teflon was bad for sublimation. What do you mean bad for exactly? Let me know, Debbie. Okay. This one can also seem like a no-brainer, but a lot of people really don't know about it. Make sure that you're using a proper heat press that is larger than your design. Now, for sublimation, there are some hacks. There are some workarounds for this that Miss Becca has used and tested in the past, but realistically, the ideal way to do a sublimation project is with a heat plate that is larger than your project. Keep that in mind. Um, on the same note, you want it to be a good quality. When you don't want to be using a household iron on this, you don't want to be using um, a really cheap uh, press that doesn't have an even plate for heat distribution. You want a good, nice, good quality heat plate that's going to distribute that heat evenly and press your design firmly. So think about that as well. Let's see here. Yeah, Debbie, let us know for sure. What did Stacy say that was a good point? Um, that if you tape down an already sublimated area, for instance, she did a necktie and she sublimated the, fr the front of it and then sublimated the back and taped down where it had already been sublimated and it pulls up the ink if you do that. So do not tape down where you've already sublimated if you're going to be applying more heat to it. Um, I don't know if the adhesive from the tape pulls up the ink. Like, I, I don't really know, but I have also ruined a project doing that, so. Don't be looking in my drawer. I was closing it so I didn't have to. It's a mess in there. I'm going to take a picture for you all. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Again, we're very organized people, but it looks horrible. Grizel said, the more I see that heat press, the more I want it. It looks so sleek. Grizel, I will say, I was worried about this auto press not looking or feeling expensive, and it does. It feels expensive. It does. It does. 
So Although the handle, the, the handle, if you weren't supposed to pick it up by the handle, would be fine. But the handle as a lifting handle worries me over time. That's the one thing that I'm like, I really feel like the, this will break first. Because it's so heavy. It's so heavy. It's and that feels loose. Pounds. Does it not feel loose when yeah. it's locked in, in place? Look. And it, I mean, it's supposed to be that way. But You're I, supposed to like lug it around by this handle. Yeah, Shirley said, I wish it was a 15 by 15 at least. Same, Shirley. I wish it were a little bit bigger what as well. What is it? Uh, I knew this. Is it 10 by 12? No, it's bigger than that. Is it? It's got to be. Just making sure. 12 by 14? 15. 15. 15. 12. 15 by 12. 12 by 15. That's awful. I used to remember it. <laughs> I have so many dimensions. Well, I haven't done head. it in a while. Yeah. I haven't used it in a while. Yeah. Lenny, Lenny, you're trying to you're trying to make people spend a lot of money here. Mind you, Lenny at the campground said the price is ridiculous. And I assumed that he didn't have one and he said that. He has one. <laughs> he thinks the price is ridiculous. We agree though. We agree. Okay. Uh, sorry about the mouth noises. I've got tic tacs because it's like after I talk for a few minutes. I get this dry spot in my throat and I'm like, I'm going to cough continuously. So this helps. But I wake up and I'm like, I can do this. I feel great. But just the live makes that little tickle in my throat. I don't well, know. Well, you let me know. I can take over if you need me to. It will be Beth fine. Beth is trying to steal my spotlight right now. I am. It's. I really want to come on with my six day And not be able to read my points. Because I don't need your you points. Can't. I have my own. <laughs> Well, I hope you'll add them at the end of this live if I don't hit your points, Becca. Don't, you don't worry, Rachel. Oh. You don't worry. Okay. I won't then. Okay. Good quality heat press. A heat plate that's larger than your design. That is going to be for an optimal project. You don't have to spend no thousand dollars on it. We have a 15 by 15 heat press that works awesome. You also don't have to have one that, like, you work. You can use an easy press. We have the 10 by 12 easy press here. You can use whatever you have. Works totally fine. Um, another great point. Me and Becca know this. Whenever I, this was years ago when Infusible Ink first came out. And I was tasked, people give me the worst tasks. To buy this, <laughs> I failed that. I was tasked with buying as many sublimation blanks as I could that work with sublimation. Uh -huh. So since sublimation and uh, infusible ink wasn't a big thing years ago, I mean, it was a thing, but not, you know, oh, everybody's doing it. It was harder to find blanks in the, the um, reviews, which we all, I don't know about you guys, I look at Amazon reviews constantly before I buy something. I have to see the reviews because it makes me nervous to buy it. The reviews on all this stuff were slim to none. So I had to spend hundreds of dollars just getting things shipped there because there was no reviews on them mm -hmm. to test them. I would say 80% of them were a big fat flop. Yeah. And it's so difficult because you spend all that money and you get them here and usually they come like, I think I got puzzles and the lowest pack was like a 25 pack of puzzles. You have to buy a bulk. So you have to buy yeah. multiple of these. It's not like you can buy one mouse pad. You at least have to buy, what, 10 probably? Yeah, I believe it was 10. So <clears throat> it's really hard to buy. Now, when some, or Infusible Ink came out, that was, what, almost four years ago? Yeah, it was a long so, time ago. So I feel like sublimation <coughs> blanks and reputable sublimation blanks are a whole lot easier to find now than they were when they're Infusible easier Ink to just find. came out. They're easier to find, and the reviews are much more, they're there. Right. They're there I also feel like they're less expensive than they used to be. Well, supply and demand got high like Correct. a year ago. Correct. And the you know prices went up for everything. But I agree with Becca; it went back down. But make sure you're getting good quality blanks. Is kind of my point. To yes. This. Yeah. We've had to purchase a lot of blanks. Some blanks that we thought were going to be a hit really didn't work well at all. So I have it here. It's terrible. Well, don't we have like four of these too? Yeah, but I mean, I think it would work if. It, Actually, I don't know why. I'm not sure. I'm going to try it again. And we can always add vinyl to this and, you know, things like that, too. It's not just for soap. But anyways, you could get in a real money pit spending money on blanks that don't work properly. 
always look at reviews and also this is kind of like a sub point you can't always blame the blank unless you're me with that uh, hat press then you can 100% blame the blank <laughs> it was that hat press it was that hat until Becca tried it and then she got a good hat she got a good hat one out of like 12 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no it was totally me <laughs> but you can't always blame the blank because sometimes sometimes it's us as user crackers. error yeah sometimes we're not doing it properly sometimes the heat's off, the pressure's off. Um, some people actually think they could go to Dollar Tree, pick up a mug off the shelf, and be able to sublimate it. But, again, if you're a beginner, you can't do that. You have to buy spe special, specific sublimation blanks that are coated in a special polycrylic coating, something like that, to be able to be used. So, think about that. We'll go overhead later and show you that uh, cup for you. Make sure you're paying for good quality blanks. If the price seems astronomical, but the reviews are excellent, that's saying something. If the price is really, really low, but the reviews are not so good, don't waste your money on it. Shop around, don't jump in, don't dive into this too quickly. Do your research with everything, your printers, your blanks, everything like that, for sure. Okay, let me see here. This one, it's easy to skip over if you have something like this, but you need to make sure with sublimation projects you're using a lot of pressure. Pressure matters with sublimation projects. If I'm sitting here holding an easy press with one hand, just wait for that timer to take down from a minute. If it doesn't have good pressure, you're not going to get all that ink super saturated into this mouse pad. You want to put your back behind this and make sure that pressure is really, really good for this. Uh, do you agree, Becca? But pressure, pressure matters on these. You knew I wasn't listening, didn't you? But yes, I do agree that pressure matters. I like to do that during lives because it's like I'm a teacher of a class, and I've <laughs> caught my student not listening to my lecture. Cause like this look, you know. Like, I was what, reading what were they their talking comments, about? and I ordered ninety dollars worth of glitter. Who? Yeah. I said I was reading their comments and I was ordering $90 worth of glitter. Oh, I thought you said Anna was. And I was like, how did Anna no, know? No, I did. We have a, Rachel found, <clears throat> mm, I'm really excited. When, uh, will that be a live or will we do that organic? We'll probably do that for several different things because it's, so it's so freaking cool. It's but really neat. Anyway, glitter, tumbler, Fun pro new Double products to us. tape. Yeah, we're really excited to show you this. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> no, as soon as it comes in from Amazon, you got maybe the day it comes in, we'll just flip the lives yeah. around and just do like a, a review on it, okay. like a first impressions yeah. about it. That'll be um, fun. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's not a new product or anything. Some of you might have been doing this for years, for all I know, but it's new to us, and that's exciting enough for us. So, anyways. Shirley, I'm eating Tic Tacs. I'm sorry. I know it's super distracting. You all hate it when I chew gum and stuff like that. <laughs> I get it. But my throat's dry. Let me see. No, not glitter. You'll like this. I hate glitter. I, I'm still finding glitter on my son. I don't know how it's still on him. But, yes, Becca ordered $90 worth of the glitter. Stacey, thank you. I did not see Sweet and Sassy's comment. So thank What'd you for pointing say? out. She's interested in a yearly membership and wants to know if there's a code. Uh, well, it's not something that we're pushing right now. Email us? You can email us or we can just say it here. It's fine. You can say it here. Yeah, use the code INSTA30 for $30 off. Your yearly. Your yearly. 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 INSTA, I N S T A, INSTA30. Yeah. Um, thank you, Stacey. Yeah, thank you. And thank you. Um, sweet and sassy. Sweet and sassy. 725, I think that's the numbers on there, if I can remember correctly. I hate glitter. Shirley, I understand. Oh, I love it's glitter. It's on my Crocs. It's on my son. I still find, he's had like six baths since then, and I still am finding glitter on him. It's like it sticks to that newborn skin. Um, okay. I'm crunching these now. This is my last point. And this one's a bit of a reach, but I want to say it because I'm not a patient person ever. I've never been a patient person. I want to let you guys know, sublimation is something you cannot rush. You can't rush the printing process or you'll forget to mirror. 
you can't rush the heating process or it'll come out shadowed or faded or uneven or something like that you can't rush the design process you have to take your time you have to take your time when you're doing sublimation now it's easy when you're in a tizzy or you're trying to do a rush order or something like that but don't put yourself in that position make sure you do it with plenty of time make sure you're paying attention going slow choosing the right printer settings choosing the right paper making sure you're mirroring that image making sure you're placing it properly evenly taping it down heating it good give these some love because these are not super cheap if you waste them i'm pretty sure these are like 12 bucks a pop i think these are yeah they're not cheap pretty expensive and you don't want to make a simple mistake because you're rushing and waste 12 bucks that's also why if you're a beginner i would highly recommend uh, using cheaper blanks just while you're testing while you're kind of getting your sea legs when it comes to sublimation maybe buy some blankets like this this is a sublimation blanket which by the way sublimation blanket basically just means 100 percent polyester but they're probably charging you more for it because it's a sublimation yeah blank. yeah uh we literally <clears throat> it's actually right here i can grab it hang on when we did our Dollar Tree haul video, they actually had this. It's 30 by 30 inches. It's 100% polyester, so you can sublimate on this from the Dollar Tree. So if you're a sublimation beginner, maybe buy a couple of these, cut them up, mm -hmm. practice. Just yeah. practice your hand and practice <clears throat> the, the printing and the mirroring and the pressure and all that good stuff with a blanket that's super cheap or with some cheaper mugs that you might can find or something like that. Um, cause you, again, if you're a beginner or really seasoned, cause sometimes, like I said, I'm, I don't mirror things now. I don't pay attention now. You don't want to be wasting things and then spending a bunch of money because you ruined it. Cause you weren't paying attention, going slow, things like that. Okay. Let me see. How are we doing in the comments? Maria, I get in trouble when I'm in a rush every time. You do not even know. I'll come in here guns a blazing thinking I'm just gonna rip through something and it'll take no time at all because I don't have any time. It ends up taking me twice as long. I have learned as a crafter, if I'm coming in, even if I'm trying to rush, take my time, that's always better than having to waste even more of my time than I originally thought. Okay, I'm gonna heat this puppy. Heat this puppy up, let's turn her on. I'm gonna crank this to 400 degrees. Mm, for 60 seconds. So we're gonna let this heat up <clears throat> and then we're gonna do some sublimation. Um, <coughs> ask any questions you guys have. <clears throat> let me know if you have any questions about the membership, about myself, about Becca. I don't even think we, I introduced us. How rude of me. No. I'm Rachel, that's Becca. We're owners and craft educators at Oak and Lamb. You probably caught on to that by now. That's okay. Better late than never. Better late than never. Uh, where did we find these that were a fail? I don't know. You ordered them. What is the temperature in here? 69. 69? Are you hot? No, I'm freezing. Don't be a weenie. That's weird. It's such a... All right, all right. Guys, most of the, the Eastern... United States is having a heat wave right now, and it is scorching hot, like from sunrise to sunset here in Morristown. And of course, everyone, like the, the major companies are like saying, turn your thermostat up. Can yeah, just... 75 to 80. Uh, I think Kat said that Michigan is saying, turn it up to 80. She's like, what's the point in having air conditioning? There's not. No. Now, I will say, if you guys didn't know this, our air guy has been our air guy for years. He's Great. I wish he could go everywhere and fix all your all's AC units. His name is Randy Jones. He is a gym and he's only been doing uh, HVAC for like three years, but he really knows the stuff. And he was telling us that during the summer here in these, the states that have all four seasons, all of the AC units that are like basic that you buy for all your homes, trailers, things like that, is only capable of cooling your house 20 degrees cooler than it is outside. So if it's 100 degrees on one day, 
your AC unit can only keep up logistically with cooling your house to 80 degrees. That's, that's what he told me, and I believe it. Our AC unit is not keeping up with our 68 degree um, preferred temperature. It's not doing it. It's, it's about 73 running constantly because it can't keep up because it's not designed to cool the house that much. So if you guys are wondering, it is going to cost you a little bit more, of course, to cool if you're having a bit of a heat wave at your house. But a little fun fact for you there, if you didn't know that. Okay. Let me see. If you didn't know, the auto press takes between five and eight minutes to heat up, depending on the temperature in your room. And since it is an ice box in here, it might take closer to the eight minutes. I don't know what's wrong with me, actually, because normally it's 65 and I'm super happy. And why? It's set to 69? Yeah. It was 74 in here because I turned it down because we were going to be gone for so long. Oh. So I just turned it down a little bit, but that was yesterday. I think, you know what, it's because I laid on that eyelash bed and then just got warm and cozy and... Did you get a headache again? No, I didn't. It was mm. shocking. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 69, so, if it were 69 in my house, I'd be dying. Same. I agree. Now, again, this is 800 square feet, so it's not a lot of True. space to be cooling down. True. Because really in your home, is it ever really the temperature you set it at? Sweet and sassy says, well, ladies, I did it. I am now a flock member. Welcome. Yay. Welcome to the flock. Thanks for asking for a coupon. Yes, absolutely. Ask Always you ask. shall receive. Always ask. Hey, Chrissy, how are you? <clears throat> she's late to the game, but she's here. That's okay. Yeah. Better late than never. Better late than never. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, sweet and sassy, you'll get it, a series of welcome emails with information on how to access the member-only content and the private Facebook group and all that. But um, if you want to go ahead and join, you can just go over to Facebook and search Oak and Lamb Flock, and our private Facebook group will be there. So you can request access, and we'll approve you. Yes, ma'am. See, nothing sparks a debate like saying what's your preferred temperature in your home. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. We're going to uh, the beach in two weeks for a week and with like three different families. And the issue is my, my family and my husband, which, husband's family, which it's all one family, you know, but whatever, households. Um, we keep it 68. Now, the other two families that are going are like 75 degree people. And who's going to win? Well, you have a baby. The cold people win. Because I would much rather be cold than hot. I don't care if they have to put on, like, thermal socks to go to sleep. No, I, I agree. I cannot have it You can't take at off. The I, no. They can always add So more. we're going to win. Yeah. We're going to win. And if the thermostat is, like, constantly changing, because people, I will literally ha put a hall monitor on the thermostat. I cannot be hot. No. I, ooh, I can't no. stand it. Um, is it still not heated up? No. It's at 325. It's almost there. It's almost there. Let's tape this down, though. I mean, I can't really drag this into the shot, so this is the best shot you got. It's fine, yeah. But I'm just going to clean this off a little bit, place this down, place my gorgeous, stunning design down. Take a, take a mental note of these colors, too, because they're not going to look anything like this when it's all said and done. I'm going to lay this down. Oh, no, Chrissy's in for it. She's headed to Orlando on Saturday, and she's been in 65 um, degree weather all week. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chrissy. Maria says it's cooler or not as humid because they had storms coming through. I, I don't think we have any rain forecasted for a while. And I'm camping next week and it's supposed to be like 98 degrees one day. And there's no shade where we're camping. So no. none. Are you on Anchor Down? Yeah. But they do have a pool that is super cold and a lake. So we'll probably just live in that. So guess what, Becca? What? I'm dying to get me a kayak. Right? I told you. I told you. That's what I'm hoping I'll get for my birthday. I am dying. To anybody who's paying attention. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, not you guys. A family. Please do not. We're going to have like 12 yeah, kayaks don't kayak. here. Don't do it. Actually, if you want to, I don't care. Um, I'm more than area, really. <laughs> I'll share with Rachel. But... It, yeah, Rachel had never been kayaking. I, last week was my first week kayaking. Really? It was my first time because the kids have kayaks, but I don't have one. So here's what happened. Growing up, I would canoe. I've, I've canoed. You know, it's not fun. It's I never work. Super enjoy I mean, it's fun. So me and Anna 
had to get on a canoe because they were all out of uh, kayaks, kayaks yeah. at the rental. Fine. So me and Anna, we are like the power couple. Boy, we're booking it, okay? But it's like lugging, a, it's like a tugboat. I feel like I'm lugging a tugboat. Meanwhile, Mark and Wayne are in one and just not doing so well. So this is taped all four sides. I taped it like tight. They can see, they can see it. Okay, I taped yeah. it tight. Set to 400, putting it down, 60 seconds. Um, yeah, Mark and Wayne are just like basically going in circles, just hitting trees left and right. Me and Anna are absolutely booking it like we're in the Olympics, yeah. let me tell you. Yeah. But it's hard. And then she's in the back. It's a two-person ca uh, canoe. Uh, but, yeah, so we go back. It's hard. Where I was tired, and Anna's like, do you want to trade for uh, kayaks? So I'm like, I mean, I guess, but if it's hard like this, I can't do it. Like, I'm tired. We get in those kayaks. That is, oh, it's like you're paddling nothing. It's so nice. It is so nice and relaxing. I absolutely loved it. It was a sit-upon one, not a sit-in one, which yeah. is, makes a difference to me. I would be scared to sit in one. I feel like I'd flip and they get trapped. Um, turns out Mark and Wayne are idiots and their canoe was backwards. <laughs> there is a front and back to a canoe. <laughs> Wayne was, his legs were like crunched up because the nose of the canoe. Also, whoever was in the front was doing all the, was Wayne in the front or in the back? Wayne was, Wayne was, in, the Wayne was in the back, I think. I think I Mark was in the front. I don't really remember. Oh. <laughs> it scared me. Also, it came up with it. Did you see that? I saw it. Well, it still looks good, though. That's interesting. Well, it looks good. Anyway, whichever one is supposed to do all the work was not doing all the work. Whichever seated position. No, it was like switched. And let me tell you, it was hilarious. Oh, my gosh, Grizel. She said, I canoed 35 miles with Jose. I was four months pregnant. I thought I was going to die. That sounds awful. That's Grizel. Um, Grizel, when's the next time that, that I stinks, can? stinks, Rachel. I know. I know. When's the next time I can see you? Because reading, I really want to read your comments in your accent. Oh, I have her. I, I have her accent down pat. Okay. No, no, I'm not doing it now. <laughs> I need to, but I need to like when I see a Griselle comment, I need to hear her accent to get me through the she day. She messaged yesterday and said something about sorry about the long story, and I was like, no, no, the longer the better because I'm reading it in your accent. It just makes my heart oh, happier. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Griselle's accent is just. Eventually, I'm going to quit talking about it. I know you're probably getting tired of it, Griselle. I'm very sorry. Okay. And I'm Marissa. just obsessed with you. Oh, it's amazing. I love listening to you talk. Your stories are the best. Okie dokie. I have a monthly membership, best way to do this, and is there a discount for the yearly? Sorry if I missed it, but I'm listening while I can from work. Thanks, Kathy. Yes, yes, we, year. You can definitely upgrade to a yearly if you want to. Um, that's a really good question. If you can email me, hello at oakandlam.com, and I will, the code is Insta30, but I'm gonna talk to you about the easiest way to do that yes. as far as canceling the monthly and then going ahead and doing, it depends on where you are in the cycle. Um, I might need to give you like an additional discount to kind of help with the pro rate. Like if you've just bought the monthly, then I don't want you to have to like lose that $20 or $10 or whatever you did. Right, so yes. I wanna just email me and I'll figure it we'll out figure for you. It yes. Out. Yes, for sure. Um, Griselle said what accent? <laughs> what she is said what accent? So funny. Yeah, you don't have an accent. Are there though. lines there in There are that? lines. That's from the printer. Did you not input? I thought that The color a, is terrible, too. I thought too. that would be a problem. You, <laughs> what? <laughs> there were printed lines, and you honestly <laughs> thought it would not. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be a problem. What? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Sorry. It's awful. But the color is what's this really interesting like to me. Feet. What um, paper setting did you have that on? Glossy or? No, it was on uh, just plain? regular. Yeah, okay. plain paper. Okay. It stinks really bad. It, it smells like a foot. <laughs> I hope to God my feet never <laughs> smell like that. Uh, Anyways, um, if you print. Maybe one more. Let's, let's go to the overhead camera. No. <laughs> no, we no. are. <laughs> this is my fault. It's a. What she meant to do thing? that. She meant oh, to do that. Oh, that's from the design. These are oak and lamb colors, and they are not oak and lamb colors. That is so funny. I've printed 
Let me find mine. That was, yeah, that was there. I thought maybe it wouldn't matter. I did this one and it did perfectly fine. I wonder if it had to do with the print quality. See, here's Becca's. Yeah. Much better. Is that blue supposed to be this blue? Yes, that's the same colors. It's I've used the same hex codes. That one's not horrible. Those blues are bad off though. But there's Becca's. Becca, it's fraying. You need a new one. No, no, no. It's good. It's, no, it means I've no, worked. No, no. It means I've worked hard on it. She said no, no, no. Yeah, no, it's fine. Anywho, it looks like a beat up beach ball. <laughs> Listen, this this was 100% my fault. Um, I should have cut my losses and not tested it for you. No, no. But they I love, they you love your fails. fails. I do love my fails. Yeah. Well, there we go. Um, do what I didn't do and you'll It you'll is a what not to do live, Debbie. It absolutely That's is. true. So what not to do. Don't forget to increase your print quality setting. Mm-hmm. I did. I did not do that. Yeah, that's why the lines were in it. <laughs> the title of this, this video, is Sublimation Mistakes, mistakes You avoid. Need to Avoid. I think we just keep giving them education with this. Becca, we did it exactly how we planned. <laughs> the ink levels are fine. She didn't increase her print quality that settings. Wasn't the fault. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm sick. I'll say yeah, that. she has I'm the COVID. Sick. James told me last night that I, I, that I keep forgetting words. And I said, I do feel like Becca had to help me out quite a bit on the live today. This was yesterday. I said, maybe my brain's a little bit fried. You have COVID brain? I have COVID brain, I feel like. I don't know. I can't remember much. I cannot remember things. Um, Are you going to order 40 things of <laughs> Hershey chocolate bars like Julie did? God, love, love her. her heart. God, I did. Love I her. did order sixty-eight yuhus accidentally. So there's that. Not, it doesn't sound like a problem to me. It sounds like a challenge. Yeah. My kids are not upset about it. Yeah. Alan brought me a yuhu on the camp trip. Was it cold? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know she cold. got it out of the cabinet. No, she got it out of the fridge. It was okay. good and cold for me. Oh. Like, she said, "You're welcome. Thank you, Fallon." Poor Fallon. Poor Fallon. Yes. yes. Um. Have you all seen that trick where like you're in the restroom and you ask your small child to come give you toilet paper and you have like chocolate on your hand and then you touch their hand with it and they think that it's feces? I did that to Fallon last night and I stopped breathing. I was laughing so hard that I was coughing and then I was coughing so hard I was seeing floaters in my eyes. I, oh my gosh, I videoed the whole thing. When she it's sent it to me, James was genuinely concerned with my well-being. And then I told Becca, my throat still hurt this morning from how I cackled so hard at the video. Um, I got coughing and I couldn't quit coughing, but I was laughing so hard. It was Fallon's emotions. It was like a roller coaster. She was like, not okay. She was fine. She was okay. She it's was okay, not mommy. okay. She was crying. She was cool. It was hilarious. And Becca was just... He ha horse laughing the entire time. Oh. Trying to say that it was an accident that she didn't mean to, that she was so sorry. She apologized to Fallon like 10 times. And then times. I couldn't say accident. I said accident <laughs> because I, it, oh. If y'all just... haven't done it or don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. It is so funny. Do it It's like kids. a trend. They'll be scarred for life, but you'll have a good laugh. <clears throat> there was a trend a while ago where you put like a treat in front of your kid, then you walk away and you say, now don't eat yes. it until I get back. It's like one of those yeah. like. Trends, I love of. that thing too. I did that with Beckett and Fallon, and there's like 45 minutes of Beckett picking his nose instead of <laughs> instead of eating the M and M's. He's just picking his yeah. nose. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Did I take that? I did video it. Yes, ma'am, I did. I did. Hi from New Zealand. It's 3:18 a.m. Oh my gosh, Rachel, why are you not asleep? She said couldn't sleep, so why not watch Oak and Lamb? Rachel, thank you for watching. Yes, we're excited you're here with us, but sad you can't sleep. Out of all your early morning choices, I'm glad you chose Oak us. and Lamb was the first thing on her brain. Maybe we'll put you to back to sleep. No, no, no. No, no. Although I've heard there are several, several lovers of Rachel's accent. Um, I don't see I think it's, here, but Robert loves your accent. I think it's more of make, making fun of. No, they love but it. But in a good way, which I'm cool with that, too. I'm cool with that. Rizelle, what's the word that Robert calls us? It's like an endearing term for hillbilly. 
what's did the he word? Call it, did he call us that at the cave? That's what he calls us, yeah. I can't, I can't remember what it is. Let us know. Yeah, Griselle, let us know. I, I'll share the video with you. I will. But here's the thing. I need to not have judgy parents because I'm a tough love kind of mean mommy. Um, and so I, I, there are mommies out there who would be like, oh, my gosh, that's so mean. So I just don't need to hear it from those mommies. No. You're it's, a better mom than me. No. You no. get the points. No one's a better mom than Becca. There's no better mom on this earth than Becca. Um, Becca's parenting is exceptional. But her sense of humor is what just, it's just over the, it takes it over the top. It's amazing. There are lots of stories and videos I could share that I won't about her kids that I, I'm telling you, I will never forget how funny that it is. Okay, and the she, kids are fine. Here, she, Grizel, I want you to, I want you to say it. <laughs> Are you serious? You want me to take a stab at it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember the Jays are. <laughs> I would say that I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I really want to try this. Crap's over if you're wondering. Yeah, you're not doing You can leave else. if you want to. I feel like saying say the it G, like Say it like Griselle would say it. There's no way. I think it's more like. My instincts are saying like, Juarita, Juarita, Juarita. That's not terrible. Like That's that. not bad. No, I could never say it like she could. How how uh, off was I? What is it? I think you sound just like Grizel. <laughs> we could be we could be sound twins. You really could. You know? Nothing is like hearing a story from Grizel. Nothing. Russ has an update. Here's an update. I quit my full-time job on Saturday. I went full-time at an arcade. I get to be a big kid at work, and I love it. An arcade. That's that cool. is fun. I could see my husband loving that job, working in work. Oh, James like, would love it. Like Although, busting the doors down to a D&B. A D&B? D&B. D&B. D and B's. Dave What's, and Buster's. Just like oh, busting into a Dave and Buster's. And you're just, talking about a and b I was like a bed and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh my gosh. Um She said keep trying, that wasn't it. Oh no. Oh no. I thought it was close. <laughs> Grisa, I'm not gonna keep trying. I will offend you eventually and I don't want to do that. <laughs> um speaking of being offended, do you know we call my dad Papa? Yeah. And in Spanish Papa is potato. It's papa. Papa. Papa, papa, papa. The emphasis is different. But I love that we call my dad a potato. <laughs> That's good. It's amazing. I mean, he calls Scott Gary. Yeah. But 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 Gary Scott. Scott Gary gave him the permission. He said it was fun. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did mine. Wow. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. Good. Um, um, Becca gets an infinite number of gold stars for setting up the water slide and being outside with her kids in the weather. She sure does, Maria, because... It was way, way too oh, hot. Oh, Grizel sent an audio message. We're going to play it for everyone. Hold on. Grizel, it doesn't have bad words, does it? <laughs> Hold on. You're getting next I'm, to Well, I'm going to turn my mic off first. Okay. So I can hear it. Okay. 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 Yeah. I don't feel like I was that. I, I, no, you were, you were real close, Rachel. Okay. How was it? Hold on. Put it next to your mic. I am, okay. Warijita. 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 Okay. <laughs> You're such a teacher, <laughs> Grizel. I love it. Oh, wait. My mic is all the way up. I'm sorry. I was oh. being really loud. We're yeah. learning. <clears throat> Bye, Lenny. Scott Gary loves his name. Scott Gary. <laughs> I wonder if Becca joined them on the slide. So here's the thing, Miss Linda. I I <laughs> messaged Dwayne and told him how miserable I was. And he was like, just get in there with him. I was like, when you go to our neighborhood, our house is the first house that you see when you come in. No one can get in our neighborhood without seeing our house. And the True. last thing they want to see is a 35-year-old plus-size woman in her bathing suit in a blow-up child pool. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told no one would judge me because it's so hot, but no I'm not sure. You. I'm not sure that all of my dignity has 
I think I still have a little intact. <laughs> I'm just sure. not sure. But today's going to be even hotter. Have a little dignity so. even after the bucket. I hate your guts. I hate your guts. I'm going to rip them out of your body and stomp on them in front of you. <laughs> Are you sure you do? I don't know what you're I talking about. Bucket, I'm not sure what you're talking about. You should about. just dive right in. You want to know the really funny part is my neighbors were next to me when that happened. No, Becca. Fallon said, Mommy, what happened? I was like, Mommy's fat. That's no. what happened. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh. So for those of you who are wondering, I was putting up the kids' water slide a couple of days ago, or a couple of weeks ago, and you have to put like this, the water tubing up at the top, and instead of just pulling the slide down, I stood on a bucket that was an old rinky-dinky bucket. Yes, Fallon, thank you. I fell right through it. <laughs> it cracked it open, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fallon. That is very kind of you. Um, that was good. <laughs> the neighbor, I would have got crawled inside and not came back out. No, it was, uh, thankfully, like, I, when I fell, I, like, fell on my, uh, like, I fell standing up. Does that okay, make sense? Yeah, yeah. So it's not like I fell on my hands and knees or right, anything. Right, right. Um, otherwise, I probably would have crawled into my house ashamed. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you stuck that landing and you went with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, guys, we always love to chit chat. <sighs> this was a, a, a chit chat full live. I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I don't ask this often, but for those of you watching live and those of you watching recorded, let me know in the comments, drop comments on what types of lives you would like to see. We love to make sure that we're always hearing what you guys want and giving you guys what you ask for. So if there's a specific teaching, training, technique, anything like that that you would like to see, if there's a <clears> style <throat> you like, if you really like the um, like unboxing new products, if you like testing new products, if you want to see more comparisons, if you want to see more hauls from uh, the dollar store or Hobby Lobby or Five Below, let me know what types of lives you guys like to see. Bear in mind, some types of lives will not do that like some types of videos won't do well for lives meaning like if it's sewing a, so yeah if it's if it's a lot <clears> of <throat> details and steps that would take longer than an hour obviously we would need to do that pre-recorded some things that you need like really close-up views would need to be pre-recorded so we can do different camera angles so think about those types of things when you're suggesting live yeah. content yeah. yeah yeah but yeah <clears throat> definitely thank you guys so much also Continue if you haven't already to subscribe. Mm -hmm. We want to get there to 10,000. Um, we're getting there. We're getting close. I can't wait. Uh, I hope that you are more uh, confident using your self motion printers, or if you have never purchased self motion printer, I hope that you are more uh, educated to make that judgment call for yourself if you want to purchase one or if you uh, want to wait a while to get a bigger printer, things like that. So. Thank you guys so much for joining. Yes, Norma, hit the like button. You guys are the best. I will watch you all do anything. Crystal, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Um, lives while I'm not up at 3 a.m. Just kidding, I love you all. Rachel, a serious question. What time, how do I say this? What time our time is best for your time? I don't know how to say that. Let me know, you know? After the summer, after things kind of die down, we'll be doing lives at different times throughout the day again, maybe, probably, I don't know. Um, so let us know what works best for you. We're always here to try and pivot and uh, do better for you all, for sure. Oh, the X tool. Yes, Debbie. Yes, we need to do the X tool lives. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe I'll open the box before I leave. Was there something else I was going to do before I left? Yeah, but I can't remember what it was. Me either. I should have written it down. I can remember it. Who? Probably not. Oh, 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 the... The fabric tumbler. I was yep, going to test it. that. Yeah. That's it. Do it. Um, Roma wants to know what we're having for lunch. I don't know. I'm not there. I don't really I'm not really there. hungry. I had a bagel. I had a bagel. Me and Becca ha ate the exact same thing this morning, but we didn't know it. Did you have veggie cream cheese? Did you ask for it on the side? Ew. When I ask for it, they don't give it to me on the side. Do you do your mobile order? No, because you still haven't done that. Rachel, stop this. Okay. You get free food. This whole conversation on one side, and you've just yelled, <laughs> yelled at me the whole time. I haven't answered a single question. <laughs> No, I have not gotten the mobile app. Fine, you know what? If you don't, 
that's fine. You if do you want your cream cheese on your bagel every time, then just live with it. <laughs> I'm weird and I don't like to eat bagels with warm cream cheese, so I ask for mine on the side so that I can put it on and it will be open faced. And I don't like to eat it together either. I like to open I don't eat it together. Open face it. James eats it like a sandwich. And I'm, it's too I'm, messy. Mm, it's too messy. Yeah. It's too messy. Okay. Have anyone tried the HTV Runt vinyl or other products? We do have some um, some flock members who have tried those products, and they have emailed us several times and are wanting us to test some stuff out. So maybe I'll just say, okay, send me all your stuff and test it for you all. They wanted to send us the Mini Easy Press, which their version of a Mini Easy Press looks pretty neat. Honestly, it's a little bit bigger. A and, Mini Easy Press? Yeah, it's probably more like this. Okay. It's, it's a little bit smaller than the hat press, really. Yeah. But that grip looks really cool on it. And they also want to send us their 10 by 10 um, press to try. I'm excited. Yeah. Rachel, it's 11.30 a.m. <clears throat> here. And then, sweet and sassy, I didn't see the join on Facebook. Let me get that for you right this very moment. And I will send you the link. Griselle, are you setting up the cookie printer printer? Is that the new printer you're talking about? Oh, please do. Please let me see when you're finished. Cookie, er, Griselle makes these um, cutout cookies that are phenomenal. I talked about them already, but she got a cookie printer so that she can make basically any design she wants on the cookie. Griselle, I didn't even get to like tell you that cookie. Mm. I'm trying amazing. to coax her into coming back to Tennessee sooner than later to teach us how to make them. Oh, it, what <clears throat> confuses me the most is like the flooding, the icing of, I know it's like royal icing, but the icing of the cookies. Because I know that like the, some layers have to dry before you can add other layers and other colors and other designs. It is so time intensive. I mean, because I'm looking at that plate of cookies that you brought to the camp with the flock and they were all lined up pretty. I know that people were just like grabbing them, eating them, thinking they're cute. But me, I think as creatives, we mm -hmm. sit there and we're like, I know it took her X amount of time to make one of those cookies. And she poured her heart into every single one of those lamb cookies. It took you hours and hours and hours and hours to make those. I know it did. To just bake them, ice them, package them. I am so impressed. But that I, I would be very interested to see that. To see how like how to make those cookies. Yeah. Also, they're not like a hard chip your tooth cookie. God, I've never had one it as good as this. It was a soft, moist, amazing, sh not sugar, like a shortbread. I think it's more like a... You'll have to tell me. It was, del it was absolutely Well, the delicious. ones that we had for your shower that the local bakery did, those yes. were the best ones that I had had so far. Okay, yes. But her icing was still a little bit yes. crunchy. Which I'm all for a soft cookie. I love soft cookies. The cookie cookies. was pretty soft. Nothing against. But it still doesn't hold a candle to Grizel's. No. Yeah. no. Nothing against the crumblier cookies, but Grizel's cookies just like basically melted in your mouth. It was amazing. Amazing. Uh, Debbie, great question. The printer mm. that's on our table is a cartridge printer. So we remove the print or the cartridges that come with that printer and put in refillable cartridges mm -hmm. put in the sublimation ink and convert it that way. It's super easy to convert. Kat said, now I want another cookie. Scott and I shared one. I want my own. Kat, you shared one? I had like four of them. Why would you ever share a cookie? Yeah. Yeah. Can't share. Cookies. Rachel did me did me dirty. She, she did so me Becca dirty. Picked out her cookie. She had a cookie. She sat it where she was eating, and then she were like ran off, and she was like, Rachel, can you get my cookie over there? It was one one little lonely cookie that she had. No, no, no. I did not ask out. you. I asked Wayne to get it, and you were like, I'll get it. And I was like, okay. You? Were, I thought you asked me personally. No. Oh, sorry. So I was like, I'll get it, Wayne. So I go over, I pick her cookie up, and I thought, because she wanted to eat it right then, I thought, what would be evil? What would Becca do? <laughs> what would Becca do? So I pick up the cookie, and I'm handing it to her, and I do like this, uh, and I fold that sucker in, it half, right in half, and I just hate it. It was like a, a one little movement, and she gets the cookie, and she goes, did you break my cookie? And I go, yes. She broke my heart. Mm. She would have done it to me. I would have. She would have. I would have. Because I thought, what would Becca do? I would snap this, she would snap this cookie. Yep. I just snapped it. Oh, she was offended. Well, it's like a chocolate bar. When you're like at a gas station, you're trying to find <clears throat> the one that's not broken. You don't want a broken chocolate bar. No, what, so cookie. you know the double doozies from Great American Cookie? I like, it's like two layers, it's two cookies and they put a big thing of icing in it. Well, I take the first cookie off and eat it and then like I save 
I save it so that the last bite is like all icing and amazing. Well, oh, Fred, Ben just texted me and he's the one that I'm gonna tell you about. Um, I'm sitting there talking with the cookie in my hand and the next thing I know, he comes up and bites it out of my hand. The last bite of my cookie. The one that you had been save, saving, like ben. working towards. Yes. He knew exactly what he was doing. He did. He did. It's terrible. That's a shame. It did that still taste good. Yes, Debbie, it did. It did. And I ate it with a lot of disdain in my heart for Rachel. <laughs> I went over to Mom. She goes, did you break Becca's cookie? And I was like, Mom, don't be crazy my style. <laughs> yes, I broke Becca's cookie. She would have done the same to me. <laughs> my mom is evil, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's evil. In, in a good way. Have to have more info on the cookie printer. Patty, yes, you need to hook up with Grizel. She, um, she knows all the info. I ha there's a <clears throat> local baker here. His son was on Beckett's baseball team. His name is also Beckett, so that's fun. Anyway, she was telling me about the cookie printer. She was like, you need to contact them and see if they'll send you one and can do reviews. She said there's no yes. really great videos and support for, for it. it on YouTube. And I was like, here's the problem. I can't make the cookies. I can bake, but I've never made those. Right. So maybe if I could get really good at that, then we can contact them and ask and we can do some reviews and stuff. I don't know. They may not even be interested, but yeah, we'll have, we'll see. I think it would be really cool. I've also seen in Grizel, you probably have one. It's like a projector. Like you project yeah. your design onto your cookie for you to like be able to use it as a guide. That's really cool. I've seen some TikToks on that. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, guys, we've, man, we've talked about a lot today. This has been quite alive. It has. Quite alive. Um, it's like chit chat was forefront, sublimation was uh, back burner, and that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow here. So thank you guys for your amazing questions and talking points and everything like that. Um, Becca is going to do the live tomorrow. Yes. At 10.30 a.m. Yep. Eastern time. Did Rachel ever say a good time for her and her time? I think she answered. So getting alive and good time for me, you guys will be sleeping. I'll just watch you oh. replay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Micah, yes, we do talk about food every time. I'm so glad you've decided to join us despite that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, it just kind of happens, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, yes, you all have been amazing. Thank like you so always, much. we've enjoyed this so much. Always, we always do. Uh, you guys always make our day better. I hope that you <laughs> all stay safe. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Bye, everyone.